gosh, it's Tuesday. We moved this weekend. We're currently staying in a friend's apartment, which is so amazing. And I'm so thankful that we have a place to stay. And I just thought I would bring y'all along with me on the next two days. It's kind of the calm before the storm because it is going to get absolutely crazy on Thursday. I'm flying to California and then within like a couple days I'll be moving into my new apartment. I'll be moving to corporate housing in the interim and then I'm going to Napa to visit some friends. So it is going to be an insane next couple, honestly weeks. Um, and so I thought I should just enjoy this time of it not being too insane. I'm getting all my loose ends tied up. So I'm doing my final hair appointment, my final lash appointment here, getting my like car organized to be shipped across. And I'm also working. So it's gonna be, I, I like that I call this like calm when it's still gonna be pretty crazy, but I am just really happy. And oh, my favorite camera shop. I will be so, I think my the thing I'm saddest to leave is my hairdresser and my favorite camera shop. So I might try and stop in real quick to see if they have any new lenses or anything fun because they have a really good selection of used camera gear. And then in like, oh, I need to leave soon. In like 15 minutes, I need to go to my hairdresser and get my roots touched up and my hair. I always wear it like in a bun. I don't even really know why. <laughs> like. Nine times out of the 10, I'm wearing my hair in a bun and just having it up so I can program, but I really like having it long and blonde so that on the off occasion when I do have it down, it just makes me feel really confident. So we're gonna get this taken care of. You guys can meet Heather who is so amazing. If y'all are in the Raleigh area, she is worth a trip to the Junction Salon. She is so amazing. I have a hard time finding someone who I like to do my hair. I've had so many people mess it up. I've had so many people like just not do it the way I want it. And Heather every single time does it so amazing. And she recommends like, hey, your ends look a little dead. It's time for a trim. So she's just always making sure that my hair is as healthy and shiny and happy as it can be. And I'm super excited because I think it's also, I forgot to tone it this week. So it's definitely getting a little, on the yellower, brassier side, and I want it just to be a little bit more almondy. So if you missed my last vlog, I moved out of my house, I'm moving to San Francisco, California, and you should definitely check that out because I used to only do sit down videos, but I just figured this is like a big adventure and I wanna vlog it. So I guess they kind of go a little bit chronologically. So if you haven't seen the earlier videos, make sure you catch up on those. If you like this type of content, be sure to give it me a huge thumbs up. I'm still new to vlogging, so I'm still trying to figure out the best practices and the best way to do it. But giving me a thumbs up lets me know that you really like these kind of videos and that I should make more, even if there is a growing period <laughs> and a learning curve. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon, and then you'll get notified every time I upload a new video, which is Mondays and Thursdays. I should probably get going to this hair appointment and I will take you with me. <laughs> turned out beautifully. I'm obsessed with how this looks. So, ah, oh, she did such a good job. My roots are covered up and it just has a beautiful blowout to it. So I'm going to get work done now for the rest of today. And yeah, not much less to update you on. <laughs> I didn't want to pull my hair up because it looked so pretty and I don't want to crease it, but I am working and I absolutely have to have it on my face. So I just threw this really cute headband on and I actually really like the look. It keeps it out of my face, but my hair is still down and I feel really feminine. So really liking this look today. And my dress is actually from Amazon of all places. And I really like it. So I'll go ahead and link it down below if you're interested. I wouldn't say it's the best quality, but it's a nice light summer dress that isn't too expensive. It's very affordable. Yes, I'm just sitting in bed and this is my current work setup. I have a dog, <laughs> my pad folio, two laptops, one, my personal phone, my work phone, and I'm just sitting in bed trying to get everything done. He is not 
coming out right away because it's taking him a little bit longer to transfer with work. So unfortunately, when I leave Thursday, I won't see my husband for a couple weeks. And so we decided tonight to do a fun date night and just go get like a nice dinner because tomorrow's gonna be a lot of packing. We got a reservation at Second Empire Restaurant and Tavern, which we've never been to, but Heather, my hairdresser, recommended it and I've heard really good things about it. So I am very excited. Good morning, it is now Wednesday morning. I leave in T minus one day. This is my last day in Raleigh. Last night was so fun. We went to, I believe it was called Second Empire. The food was unreal good, so good. We actually were like full before our entrees even came. So like we literally just asked for a box. But this morning's been a little rough. I didn't sleep great last night, so I'm really tired. And then this morning I went to Chick-fil-A to kind of boost my mood and then I spilled iced tea all over my dress, my beautiful white dress. So I'm now wearing black today so I can just be a little bit more clumsy and not have to worry about it. Some things to get finalized today. Mostly just need to work and then I have a lash appointment to get these touched up. And my husband is in the office today, so I'm gonna steal his spot downstairs at the desk so I don't have to do the setup on the bed this morning. So it might be like more productive of a day, but we'll see. And then I need to pack up everything and make sure I'm ready to go tomorrow. I think one of my suitcases is overweight, so that's gonna be fun. But we'll see how that goes. And yeah, let's get started with the day. because I need to go get my oil changed and my lashes redone and I'm about to put on my glasses and I realized I got my new glasses this week and did not show y'all so I thought I'd show you guys my two pairs. So the first pair I got are these Ray-Bans. I have these in the sunglasses form and I know that I love this shape and they're a little bit like chic Harry Potter. Like I feel very hipster in these. I have blue light blocking lenses in them so you might see some like blue reflection and I just think they're really cute they're really hip I normally go for like a more chunky sort of like classic Ray-Ban frame and so I thought these were really fun and different from what I normally get but today I will be wearing my other pair because they match my outfit a little bit better and they literally come from this Tiffany & Co box it's the same kind of like box that their jewelry comes in so I think it's really fun and just makes them feel really special and they come in this beautiful blue case that says Tiffany & Co on it. And they are these thicker glasses. And this is more of like the classic glasses I would get. They are a little bit chunkier. Again, they have the blue light blocking in them. So you will see the blue light reflection. And then on the inside, they have this gorgeous, just the classic Tiffany blue color. And I thought these would be perfect for today. It's funny because with the blue light blocking, like it almost turns everything almost sepia, <laughs> so everything looks a little bit different. But I will be wearing these to my lash appointment because you're not really supposed to wear contacts because it can irritate your eyes. And I could take them out when I get there, but that's just so much work compared to just wearing my glasses to begin with. And I wear daily contacts, so I just take them out anyway at the end of the day. So I'll just wear these today. And then I think I'm gonna wear these on the plane tomorrow because I plan to do a lot of work on my laptop on the plane ride. Hmm, I guess it really doesn't matter. But yeah, just wanted to show y'all my new pairs of glasses. I will do my best to link them down below if I can, um, if you are interested in these styles. Not sponsored, just really like these. <laughs> I'm gonna go take my contacts out and then go get my oil changed and head to my lash appointment. So I got my lashes done. I think they look really great. The lighting's not amazing in here, but you can see they just look really natural and wispy and I have to be really careful when you get them you can't get them wet for 24 hours and you're not really supposed to get any oils on them so I'm gonna do my best to take my makeup off and do my skincare routine but I really don't know how it's gonna go and if you guys want a more in-depth skincare routine leave a comment down below I definitely want to do that for y'all this is not normal just because I am trying not to get any water or oil on my lashes. So I'm gonna time lapse this. I tried to like film it step by step and it was just stressing me out. So instead, just gonna time lapse it. the vlog 
vlog off here and I will see you in my next vlog when I travel to San Francisco. So if you want to see my adventure going out to Silicon Valley, make sure you are subscribed with that bell icon turned on so you can see all of my adventures. All right, you guys have a wonderful night. Bye.